Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new lecture. So today, we are doing something very interesting. Uh, we are doing paper solutions. Semester 4, Mumbai University, EXTC students. You know you have your subject microcontrollers where your syllabus is 8051 and ARM. So what I have done is, I have scanned the last two recent question papers. May 22, the main paper and December 22, the KT paper. Right? Fresh out of the oven, the two latest papers in that each paper had 20 marks of programming based questions. That's what I'm going to do. The remaining questions were theory questions. We already have done all of those theory answers. You've learned them. We made videos of all of them and you've seen the PDF. So you are prepared for that. But the ones that change in every paper are the programming questions. Now what? Are you going to attempt programming in the exam? You better do. Okay. Now many students, the moment they see a program, they run away. They just move to the next question. That's such a stupid approach. You will see it. Let us uh, see these solutions and you'll come to know, you'll kick yourself for not learning programming before. Because these questions, programming questions, they give you 10 marks in no time. Five, six, seven minutes is all it takes to write a program. Ten minutes at the most if you're a slow writer. Ten minutes, you solve ten marks. Your attemptable marks are 80. You have three hours for that. Do you understand? Do you understand? You finish your 20 marks attempt of programming in 20 minutes. And for your remaining 60 marks, you have two and a half hours left in the exam. So you can write your remaining theory answers to their fullest potential to as much as you remember every point you remember you can draw the diagram properly without being scared that you may not finish the paper because you've done the smart thing. This is the difference between the average students and the ones who score really well in the subject. Ask any of the top ranking students of your class how important programming is and you'll know the key, the idea, how you put all the effort but you still stay in that average part and some others crack the exam year after year, every year in every semester, they are the ones who are in the top ranks because they know where maximum marks in the exam lie. And don't be in the impression that every paper has to have only 20 marks of programming. I've been in this profession for long enough to see in the worst of the papers. I'm not joking. Back then when papers with the attemptable marks were uh, what, um, 100 and the whole paper was 140 marks, I have seen electronics paper, um, I won't remember the year, it's been quite quite some time, it's 8-9 years back, 120 marks out of 140 was only programs. I'm not joking. Go to your college library, Mumbai University, you'll have all the questions, papers in your library. You'll come through, you'll come across a paper like that and that's not happened once. I think it was 2009 or 2010 paper. But I've seen papers like this quite a few times where they've crossed this uh, unset threshold of 20 marks and gone to 30, 40, 50, 60 marks of programming. And if that happens in the exam, people who've done programming will find the paper super, super simple, probably finish the paper half an hour before the stipulated time. And the ones who don't know programming would finish much earlier and walk out because they'll have nothing else to write in the exam. Anyway, so that should not happen to you. The things that we're going to learn with the four programs that we're going to do, this is the first one. Convert a hex number to a three byte unpacked decimal number. This was asked in December 22, just the latest paper a few months back. 10 mark question. If you know this program, we had done a similar program like this last year in May, uh, just before the exams, like how I'm releasing a video now, that really I'd release a video where we converted hex to BCD. This is one step ahead, it's hex to unpack BCD. We already have done the program to convert pack BCD to unpack BCD. So this is just a combination of two programs. That's all that it is. 10, 12 instructions is all it takes to write this, this much, 10, 12 instructions. An instruction is two words, 20, 25 words, right? If you know this program, you'll finish this in five minutes. And you get 10 marks. Theory answers, like something like timer section. Okay, timer section of 8050. And if you're learning the subject, you know what timer section of 8050 is. That answer has seven diagrams, four modes, plus Tcon, plus Tmod, plus the basic diagram of a timer. Seven diagrams, three pages of theory. That's a 10 mark question. This is a 10 mark question, which takes five minutes to write maximum. And that will take 25, 30 minutes to write. So that's what I'm saying. People who bank only on theory questions end up not finishing the answer or finishing the exam, but not writing answers to the best of their memory. They had to eventually cut short answers because there's no time left. But if you're a smart kid and you know how to do programs, you save so much time and still get maximum marks. Come on, come on, see the next question. 
write a program to control electric kettle yeah i know this most students the moment they saw this word electric kettle ran away moved to the next question some who still had the courage okay let's read at least the remaining so 230 volts 5 ampere yes all of this is there for a reason nothing is here for just just to scare the student but if you know how to handle all this and what does this mean what is the examiner asking you to do for this then you will know the question is very simple they could have complicated this far more add in an led which all kettles actually have when you turn it on the led any electronic electric appliance when you switch it on there is a red light or something that turns on to indicate that it's on they have not added that they could have added a temperature sensor keep the kettle on for so and so time when the temperature reaches so and so then switch it off they could have added a delay keep the kettle on for one minute and then switch it off they've done nothing they could have added a display an lcd you've done all that led display led dis lcd display display the temperature or display on and off on the display they've done nothing of that so it's a very very simple question turn on and off that simple the program would be what eight lines nine lines program with a circuit diagram and short explanation how much time do you think you'll take to write that <laughs> compare this with some like serial port of 8051 or register model of arm or operating modes of arm come on those are answers that never get over there are seven operating modes you have to write what all of them compare that to writing an answer like this come on how can a student think that i would not do programming yes it takes effort to learn programming it does if you're in the last day if your exam is tomorrow don't learn programming today you won't you, because it takes a lot of time to learn programming and you'll kill all the time for that you anyway now need to learn your theory topics but if you're a student who prepares properly in advance like you know week before the exam or even 5 6 days before the exam or if you're a month before the exam like a good student would start studying then a lot a day at least one full day or maybe two days just to learn instructions and programming you do that you'll be thanking myself when you're writing the exam look at the next question Write a program to generate a square wave. How many times we've done square wave programs, and how many times have they come? It's ridiculous. They keep asking this, and I've told you when I taught you square wave program. It can be a square wave, it can be a rectangular wave, it can be positive spikes, it can be negative spikes. In fact, I've taught you also how to generate sawtooth, triangular wave, and all those things. They all waveform programs with just minor changes in the code. I've also said they could either change the frequency of the square wave. or they could change the frequency of ad51 here that's what they've done they've changed the frequency of ad51 and there are various methods of producing software a uh, square wave you can produce it using a software delay or a hardware delay or using timers here a timer interrupt yeah so here they vast delay subroutine what does that mean software delays yeah so i'll show you the program the right again the program is very small and the last one this is an arm based question they have not asked for a program what have they asked five instructions come on this is this when i taught this i had said these are jackpot questions yes we have done arm instruction set in what four or five videos i think it was a big instruction set but i have told you put this effort put this effort of learning arm instructions you will be thanking me in the exam it doesn't take more than one minute to write what one instruction does it's yeah right one minute but two minutes if you're a slow writer 10 minutes you finish this and this is a question that gives you 10 out of 10 because that's all the examiner wants in a normal theory answer no matter how much you write an examiner would say i wanted this extra point because those are open ended questions this is not this is what the instruction does if you write what the instruction does you get your marks again if you've learned arm instructions you know they could have added a lot of complication just by putting an s in any instruction the working changes right just by putting condition codes remember equal not equal greater than greater than equal less than less than equal there so many conditions zero not zero and so on they could have added those conditions and made this far more complex when you add the s and you add the conditions arm instructions look so crazy people run away they've done nothing this is a lollipop question is like come come take 10 marks this is what they've done it's a shame that students don't learn arm instruction those who haven't you lost an opportunity to get 10 marks for nothing and then you sit and write those big theory answers i think if i if my memory serves right the alternate to this question was to explain register model of arm god bless you if you are attempting that instead of this like i said 37 registers those seven diagrams and then explaining what happens in all the seven modes come on that would take 20 25 minutes to explain as compared to this which won't even take more than 5 minutes to write anyway so this is what we're going to be doing in today's lecture this lecture is for the students who want to take the subject seriously in terms of scoring yeah if you just want to pass or if you just want to hang around then you don't need to do these 
cherry toppings. But if you are the one who wants to score more than 60%, 70% in this subject, if you want this subject to boost your overall percentage, be in the top ranks for this subject, best in the class, this is the lecture you should be watching. This whole lecture along with the whole course of AD51 and ARM and so many others is available on my website bharatacharyaeducation.com. These are the various subjects that I teach. I teach more also but these are subjects that I have put on my website so far. Select, Click on the link, register yourself as a user, select whichever course you want to learn. This video will be there in both AD51 as well as ARM course because it's combined for both. And uh, Make the payment and as soon as you make the payment, your course becomes active. Your course will be valid for six months. Yes, we don't do those one week or two week subscriptions because I don't believe in the concept that you need to learn only from a from an exam point of view. That's not education. That's just fooling each other. So we give subscriptions only for six months always, which means that even after your exams are over and you finish your vacation, you're back in your study mode. Look at the videos again, this time not for an exam. For the knowledge point of view these are the subjects that will make you an engineer tomorrow when you start making embedded system projects you make iot projects the thing of the future the knowledge of these subjects is what's going to take you ahead so yes the subscription is for six months you can watch the videos as many times as you want with every video there's a pdf so you understand the concept from the video you prepare your exam answer from the pdf there's a discussion forum you can speak to other students you can speak to me over there or if you have a doubt you can connect with me directly on whatsapp that's my number as soon as i'm free i will reply hope to see you there wish you all the best study hard be going ahead